Hey there, and thank you so much for joining us. My name is Micah Mitchell. I am a partner and the CEO at Membarium, and I have with me Ethan Denny, the CEO of ConvertFlow. And Ethan has an amazing, amazing amount of knowledge to share with you. So I'm going to turn it over to Ethan, and I'll just comment in now and then. Thanks, Micah. Hi, everyone. I'm Ethan Denny, and I'm really excited for what we're going to be talking about today. I think we're going to deliver a lot of good content that um, you're all going to enjoy. So first thing is we're going to be talking about how to capture more leads, sign up more members, and get more paying customers with Membarium and ConvertFlow. Now, if you don't know what ConvertFlow is, uh, ConvertFlow is a new way to convert visitors into customers with automated calls to action on your website. So you can create, launch, and A-B test personalized calls to action on your website without writing code. We've got this beautiful drag and drop editor, allows you to drag and drop elements around your calls to action. You can change font styles, change the color styles. You can make it look and make it match the look and feel of your website. You can also guide visitors to take the next step with different conversion flows, and you can integrate all your different marketing tools. And uh, for those of you who don't know what Membarium is, Mike, I'll let you jump in and tell you what, tell them a little bit about it. Yeah, so Membarium is a WordPress plugin for Infusionsoft that helps you turn your WordPress site into a membership site. And so you can make it completely automated and sell courses, uh, do certifications and different things, and then easily add one-click upsells and embed Infusionsoft order forms in order to sell all that stuff and upgrade people and send them all within your own, you know, branded to you membership site. Excellent. Great. So uh, let's dive in. Um, so here's what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, we're going to cover high converting lead generation tactics that you can use on your website. So we're going to be showing you a number of different types of conversion tactics and rapid fire that you can use to generate more leads from your website. Uh, most of these can be implemented in an hour or less. And if you use most of them, I'm confident you can at least double or triple the number of leads you're getting from your site if you're not currently using these sorts of tactics. Um, if you're marketers like we are, then you probably love finding quick tactics you can implement to get a nice conversion boost. If so, make sure you're ready to take some notes because you're not going to want to miss these. We're also going to be talking about how to get leads to sign up as new members for your membership site. So we're going to show you what happens after you generate lead and how to get them to sign up for your membership site by using a process for marketing to 100% of your traffic with the right message. And then finally, we're going to be talking about how to get more paying customers by shortening the time to aha. So I'm going to show you a process for increasing your conversion rates from new members to paying customers by optimizing your sign-up process to get people to an aha moment, which is a concept borrowed from the tech community uh, that many software and web companies use, including uh, Facebook, Netflix, and other tech giants. So how to uh, high converting lead generation tactics for your website. Um, here's the big problem. On average, 95% of visitors leave a website without taking the next step. And here's why. So according to a report by Nielsen Norman Group, most visitors stick around for less than 59 seconds. So if, you're, if you don't capture the visitor's attention in less than a minute, chances are you've lost them. And most people who visit your site are also not ready to buy. So if you're asking for too much information, I'm sorry, too much commitment too early, then you're speaking to a very small percentage of people on your website that are actually ready to take the next step. Um, and you're missing out on all the people who are not. Visitors are also being shown a one-size-fits-all marketing message. Um, and if you're not engaging them with a message that's relevant to where they are in the buying cycle, then people will drop. People come to your site and are at different stages when they visit your site. Uh, different stages of the decision-making process. So they may just become, they may be aware of your brand and are getting to know what your brand does, what problem it solves, um, what's your solution. At some point, they may be in the consider, uh, consideration stage. So they might be checking out your brand versus other brands, like maybe your competitors, to see which solution they should be using to solve the problem. And finally, they might be at the decision stage. So they might have chosen your brand and are looking for specific type of uh, specific content that would help them make that buying decision. So if you're not engaging them with the right content, the right messaging to, uh, based on where they are in that buying process, then you might be engaging them with irrelevant content and they'll probably drop. And finally, visitors leave websites because they just, they don't get what they expect um, that they were going to get when they visited the site. 
So maybe they're on the right sites, but they can't find the information they're looking for, uh, or the look and feel does a poor job at coming off as a credible site they can trust, um, or maybe they just don't know what to do. So people will drop, and here we have an example of what your visitors look like when you engage them with the wrong message on your site. They, uh, they bounce or teleport. So how do we solve this problem? If 95% of visitors are leaving the websites without taking the next step, how can we make sure that more of our visitors actually turn into leads, sign up for our membership programs, and eventually become paying customers for our business? Well, the first thing is meet your visitors where they are and guide them to take the next step. Um, so many websites drop the ball here. Every website visitor is different. And so why would your website stay the same for each of them and not show them how to take the next step based on who they are, where they're coming from, uh, which stage they're at in the buying process? Um, if you're not engaging them based on these, these factors, then you're missing out on a great opportunity. Your website should not be static. I mean, regardless if it's a marketing site or your membership site, it should respond to each visitor to engage them the right way with the right message so that they'll take the next step in your buying process. If you, uh, if you visit a website and it's not clear what you're supposed to do or you're not able to find the information you're looking for, it can be really frustrating. Um, it's one of the main reasons people leave. It's like going to a restaurant or a store where you're about to make some sort of buying decision and yet no one's there to greet you or guide you through the buying process. You'd probably get pretty angry and, and leave, wouldn't you? So let's not make this mistake on our websites. Each visitor should be engaged and guided. It should be very clear for them what to do when they visit your site. We don't want to leave it to them to figure out what to do on our sites. We want to guide them and make sure that they actually take those steps. So real quick, Ethan, a lot of people are probably out there thinking, you know, this makes a lot of sense. It's almost common sense, right? You want to talk to people the right way. But most businesses, um, I'm ashamed to say, even mine on uh, some of our pages, you know, we, we don't really customize this message. We're guilty of exactly what you're saying. And I bet most people watching are probably guilty of this, at least to some extent, too, and could definitely make some improvements, even if what they have is already working to some extent. Um, so I, I agree. Uh, a lot of sites, including ours at some point, um, you know, haven't, haven't been as responsive as they could have been. Um, and so, yeah, uh, this is something that we all should just strive for uh, to be able to engage each visitor with the right message and, you know, create this really personalized buying experience. And it's a process, um, but it's definitely something that we could all strive for and it would help, you know, create a better experience for the visitor, help convert more of them into customers, um, which is something that, you know, we both want as, as businesses. Um, and so, you know, a lot of these people who are visiting our sites, you know, they're looking to solve a problem and they're looking to us to solve that problem. And so the, the first sale that your site needs to make is convincing visitors that your brand is who they should pay attention to for solving this problem. And it needs to do it quickly. And so if we don't engage them with the right message, then, you know, visitors can leave and we may never get that chance to, to convince them. So um, I'm going to show you some quick ways you can engage your visitors and guide them to become leads for your business. These are quick wins and uh, can be implemented probably in less than an hour. So you could probably see a nice conversion boost just by implementing some of the tactics we're going to be talking about here. One is welcoming visitors who get to your homepage. So having some sort of proactive message, a uh, proactive way of engaging visitors and, and breaking them out of their browsing trance and getting them to take the next step. Uh, and doing that on your homepage is a great way to engage new visitors to your site. Um, engaging them in your blog posts so you can have calls to action or different types of messages right within your, your blog posts that are may, maybe are dynamic or uh, depending on, on what your marketing requires, uh, you're able to get, engage people with the, with the right message and get them to take the next step while they're reading your content. You can also put your sidebars to work. So the sidebar is a lot of real estate on the website that is typically not leveraged as well as it could be. Um, if you made these sorts of sidebars dynamic so that they would engage each visitor uh, with the right message based on where they are in your marketing funnel, then you can leverage your content marketing to drive a lot of action uh, in your business. And you can see better ROI in your content marketing campaigns. Um, the next thing is to nudge your visitors on your features and benefits page. So a lot of people, when they visit your website, 
they're checking out your services page or they're checking out your, your uh, features page if you're in the software world. And they are considering whether to use your product or buy your solution. And sometimes they just need a little nudge in order to get to the next step. Otherwise, they may not, they may not want to commit. And so if you can engage them while they're in that process of making a decision, learning about your business, you might be able to drive them to a page where you could talk with them, maybe through live chat, uh, answer any questions they might have, or you can get them to uh, maybe take you up on some sort of special offer for your business or product. Um, engage visitors before they leave. So a lot of people will leave your website and it's sometimes because they just never were presented with some sort of offer or a, ne a clear next step for them to take. So if you use exit intent uh, technology or exit overlays, then you can engage visitors before they leave your site and get them to either become leads for your business or if they're already leads, you can get them to um, buy your products and services. You can make all sorts of offers to them through these uh, engagement ways. Um, you can also engage your visitors in your videos. So if people are, if you're doing a lot of video marketing or in your membership site, you're offering a lot of videos, um, being able to engage them right as they're watching your videos and get them to take some sort of action. Um, that's another, another opportunity just to, uh, to get people to move through your marketing funnel or, you know, to get feedback from people. There's all sorts of ways you can engage people, uh, both in your videos and on your websites. You could answer questions on your pricing page. So if you don't have anything set up on your pricing page now that allows uh, you to take a lead and, and be able to overcome any sort of objections or answer their questions while they're in that process of making a buying decision, then you're missing out on a big opportunity to do that. Um, so installing some sort of live chat or some sort of messaging system that allows you to get some feedback there and, and immediately overcome some of their objections can really create a much better buying experience for your website visitor. And obviously, don't forget your case studies page. So if people are checking out the proof uh, with your business or the examples of clients that you've worked with or um, of customers you've helped, then that's a great opportunity for you to give them, uh, give your visitors the next step that they can take in order to get similar results uh, with your business. So if you set up these sorts of dynamic messages or different calls to action on your website or different ways to turn every page into a lead generation tool, then you can turn your entire site into a lead generation machine. And so I know these are just some common, commonly known ways of engaging visitors, uh, but there are some quick wins and a lot of us, um, including some of our pages, which we probably need to put some, some sorts of dynamic calls to action on right now. Um, but uh, yeah, we have all these opportunities of converting visitors across our site um, so as you can see, there's a number of different pages where you could, uh, engage visitors and, and get them to convert. Just implementing some of these tactics, you could probably double or triple the number of leads you're getting from your site if you're not doing these already. So, um, now let's talk about strategy. So if you're creating content for your website or you run some sort of membership site, um, let's talk about a strategy that will work great with these tactics that we talked about right now. And let's show you how to turn every content piece into a lead generator for your business. So lead generation tactic two. We're gonna create content that keeps visitors on your site and converts them at each stage of your marketing funnel. So before you start writing even one blog article or content piece for your membership site, you should create a process for aligning and focusing your content marketing efforts. Um, you need a holistic strategy that encourages repeat content consumption and engagement and gets people to move from one stage of your buying process to the next until they're eventually in your membership site or they're paying customers. So this can start with content for your membership site and then it can trickle down onto your website into your blog posts um, or it can start on your blog posts and then uh, just you develop premium content that you add to your membership site. So enter the hub and spoke content strategy. Um, the hub and spoke model can help you spread your top notch content across the web and generate a lot more leads into the top of, of your marketing funnel. Um, here's how it works. So first you create a content hub and the content hub could be, it could be a lead magnet. It could be content within your membership site. It's typically derived from a, a per, like your persona's pain points. So you have a buyer persona. They're the ideal customer for your business. Um, the content hub is 
typically the premium content that you would deliver to them that would help them solve their problems or help educate them on how to solve their problems. Um, sometimes you can optimize them for the keywords you're trying to rank for or the key topics that you talk about in your business. Um, your content hubs can be lead magnets for your, your business or um, they could be in the form of an ebook, a video, a cheat sheet, a webinar, as well as content within your membership site. And then you have what are called primary content spokes. So these content spokes are primarily designed to drive traffic to the hub and promote your lead magnet or membership site or any gated content that you have. And so each con um, content spoke should address subtopics and related keywords that are covered in the hub. So this may take in for the form of blog posts or emails and, and videos. And so you create all these sub content pieces that then promote your lead magnet or promote the premium content that you've got within your membership site. And overall, this helps you generate a lot more leads and, and cr helps uh, visitors who check out your site, they don't drop off after reading one blog post, they could check out multiple blog posts and then eventually convert. And you're giving people a lot of content that they can consume and uh, helps, helps you build a, a better brand, helps you educate uh, your visitors and develop a better relationship with them and eventually get them to take the action you want them to take. And once you've created these primary content spokes, then you would create what are called secondary content spokes. So these are just ways to promote your primary content spokes like your blog posts or your videos. And these are typically done through social media posts or emails, push notifications. You can use content amplification. So you can use tools like uh, Outbrain to promote your content across the web and on other people's websites. And this drives traffic back to your blog posts, back to your videos, which then drive people to your content hub where they either become leads for your business or members for your membership site. So since all of your content is designed to lead people to an action, if you're using this sort of model, then the hub and spoke model makes it a lot easier to plan, manage, and create content that generates leads and gets results for your business and also for your membership site. So a few questions that you can answer to kickstart ideas for your content hub, if you want to create one for your business, is you know, what are the most important topics that your personas or your buyer, your potential customers care most about? Um, what keywords would you like to be found for? So those content hubs can be ranked around, you know, and, and designed for one particular key phrase or keyword that you want Google to uh, rank it for. Another thing is, at what stage are, they, are these visitors at in the buying process? So are they just becoming aware of the problem um, that your company solves, and so you need to create content that engages those people? Uh, or are they at the decision-making stage where Maybe you want to lead with case studies or things like that that help them make a buying decision. So those content hubs could be a series of case studies. And, um, and those would help people who are in the decision-making process you know, decide whether they want to do business with you or not. And finally, you know, what questions are your top, uh, topics going to answer? So think about that in your, for your spokes. Um, you could answer all sorts of questions that are related to the topic that your content hub has uh, answered or that you've created content around. And this basically allows you to just create a lot of content that's all synergistic and leads people to a point where they can become leads for your business or customers for your membership site. So Ethan, just to jump in here real quick, what I really love about this for most of the people that we do business with where they are membership site owners, they, I don't believe, think of their content in this fashion. They think of it as, you know, all the content or their curriculum that they're going to lock up in their membership site. And then later they go out, so they lock away their whole, you know, content. And then they later go out and say, well, now I need to promote it. And so let me write a blog post on whatever. But it's not, you know, like you're showing here, it's not part of an overall strategy and it doesn't fit together as well. And so I think a lot of membership site people would really benefit from this. I had never seen this before you showed it to me. And I think it's awesome to take into account, you know, not just what are you going to build into your course, but how does that content spill out into your marketing efforts? I just love this thing. So as an example of that, somebody who has, let's say you're out there and you have your, you know, module one, you could very easily take whatever the topic of module one is and make it into a, you know, a smaller either video that you give away for free, or maybe you create a free report based on it. You know, you blog about it, whatever it is. So I could see people and I myself, I'm thinking about this taking the content I do have and then re repurposing it out this way because 
then especially if they go out and they do read that blog post or watch that video or, you know, get that free report, it can mention that. It can say, you know, this is covered in more depth in module one of our blah, blah, blah program. So yeah, again, this is really cool. Lead generation tactic three, you want to create a great experience by engaging visitors with the right message at the right time. So you want to proactively engage your visitors based on their behavior on your website. So not only on which pages they're on, but how they're engaging with each page on your site. Um, now this lets you share the right message to them based on how they're bri uh, browsing your site uh, or if they bounce, you're able to engage them and give them an opportunity to take some sort of step. Um, and as long as this is all well-timed and relevant, then your visitors are really happy that you've engaged them um, and given them the opportunity to take the next step with your business. So using different tools out there, you can create uh, and, tr and track uh, these five different types of behaviors on your website. So you want to track um, the time that people have spent on your on the page or if they're trying to exit the page, if they've scrolled to a certain point within the page, maybe a point of interest where it would make sense for you to, um, to engage them with some sort of call to action or message that then leads them to another page where they can go into more detail on whatever content they were reading. Um, you can also engage people based on button click. So uh, instead of driving people to a specific page, if someone clicks a button, maybe you can open up some sort of message that uh, gives people just enough information that they need in order to take the next step. And you obviously want to engage visitors based on this behavior that you're tracking on your website. Lead generation tactic four, don't drop the ball. Retarget everyone. You don't want to have people who are, you're paying to drive, you're, you're paying to get to your website, and you don't want them leaving without taking the next step. And if they don't enter their contact information or you know, give you some sort of way to follow up with them, then retarget them. Show them different ads across the web that drive them back to the step that they didn't complete. So you want to show people relevant ads that are based on the pages they visited. Um, so everyone that maybe visited one of your content spokes, you could retarget people with ads that are relevant to that content uh, that you're promoting in your content hub, which could be your lead magnet. So everyone that you know, visited a specific blog post that promotes a specific lead magnet, you can retarget all those people with that uh, lead magnet so that you're showing them the right ads across the web. And obviously retargeting helps you keep top of the mind awareness. You're able to create uh, these retargeting ads that remind your visitors what your company does and which goal you want them to complete next. As you can see in our example here, this is uh, someone who was trying to buy a pair of shoes and because they didn't buy it on the first page, when they left, they're engaged with um, an ad that helps drive them back to the to the uh, cart so that they can add the, the actual shoes to the cart. If they didn't complete their order, then ads engage them on the web to complete their order. If they, for some reason, drop off during the order page, they may see ads that give them some sort of discount or some sort of offer in order to buy that particular product. And as you can see, this is kind of like a full, full funnel um, retargeting approach uh, tailored to e-commerce. But if, you do, if you're in the B2B space or whatever industry you're in, you could and if you understand that buying process that you're putting people through, um, you can create marketing and, and retargeting ads that engage people at every um, stage of that and get people to complete each step.